Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neon, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be checking out the Ray Karada Bloodline in Shindo Life. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to mention that we're super duper close to the 1,000 subscribers, so if you could help me out, that would really mean a lot to me. Of course, you can just watch the video without having to subscribe. You know, there's no pressure, but, you know, it would really mean a lot if you guys could help me get there. Anyways, enough of that. In case you don't know, Ray Karada is a limited time clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 out of 250. Now, players that own the Bloodline Bag Game Pass can purchase this bloodline for 599 Robux, um, but I don't really recommend it. Anyways, Ray Karada's moveset revolves around expanding the user's body to attack it is a variation of karate and has the reskin named ray karate yang anyways now that we're done with that we're gonna get straight into the mode so let's do that as you can see no fancy effects you know um you kind of get these kind of cool like neon blue fluorescent kind of butterfly wings on your back which is really cool honestly i think it's it's a pretty decent looking mode it's nothing special but you know it's pretty nice anyways apart from that let's get right into the first move so this is called superhuman boulder as you can see So basically what that move does, it affects multiple people and it ragdolls them while dealing damage. So it's a really good move for team fights. Now I recommend this in like implementing this into combo starters or combo enders just to ragdoll them and get them like a little like confused or something. Anyways, the next one is called Phoenix Stomp as you can see. So basically it's like an AOE attack. It can affect multiple people and honestly it's pretty decent. Anyways, now it is time for the final move as you can see. You basically become a giant as you can see. And then you turn it to the ball. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool move, actually. I really like it, but... Um, yeah, you basically just become big as hell, and then you start attacking them, punching the hell out of them. And then you just become the ball from the first move, which is really nice. Anyways, now it is time for the Q spec. so as you guys can see, right here. You basically become huge, and you kind of throw, like, these energy balls similar to your M1s, as you can see, because the M1s are ranged, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it kind of, it's really cool actually. It's not a bad Q spec, I'm gonna be honest, but it's nothing special. It's not the best in the world. And now finally, it is time for the C spec, as you guys can see. Oh shit. Anyways, let's try that again. So here we go. So here's the C spec. You basically slam them on the ground and then you become huge and then you do really insane amount of AoE damage. So yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's definitely a good C spec. That's for sure. Um, if you're able to catch a few people off guard and you can catch them in your C spec, um, it'll do about maybe like a quarter of their total HP depending on what rank they are. Also, if you like traveling throughout the map really fast, you can also just use the first ability for traveling. It lasts quite a long time and you know, you can just travel pretty far. Obviously not as good as like, you know, smoke or the water dragon, but it's something. Anyways, apart from that, that's really it. You know, this bloodline is really sick and I honestly really do like it. I really do like the design and I love the moves. Now, it could be better obviously, but you know, the moves themselves are still pretty good. You're not going to be using the mode obviously, you're only going to be using this bloodline for the moves. Anyways, I found one of my friends here, as you can see, he turned into fucking, I am the knight. fucking Batman. But yeah, go check out his channel. I'll be leaving the link for that in the description below. He's really close to 500 subscribers. Anyways, apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, shit. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, peace out, guys.